Hi, what is up YouTube? Today we are having the unboxing and first impressions of the Panasonic Lumix S1H. And in the box, this is what we have. We have a user manual. A card for product registration. In this box we have USB-C to USB-C cable. USB-A to USB-C cable. A neck strap, pretty nice. A nice battery charger. And here is a power brick for the wall to the charger. This is a sync cable for your camera. The wall cable for the charger. This is a clip for your cable. This hooks up to the side of your camera and can help you keep your cables managed. And a battery. So great, this is all we have in the boxes. So we wanna go ahead and put that aside and take a look at the camera itself. This is the camera. The S1H packs a full frame sensor, dual native ISO and records up to 6K resolution. Every single button on this camera can be customized and assigned different functionality. There are two dedicated video record buttons and the shutter button can also be used as a record button. Very handy if you like to rig your cameras. There are tally lights in the front and back making it obvious from both sides when the camera is recording. It also has unlimited recording capabilities because of its built-in cooling fan. A wider and more advanced top screen that displays the camera settings, battery level and more useful information even when the camera is turned off. This circular cap can be removed to allow the connector through when using a dummy battery and this camera is also compatible with the same battery grip as the S1 and S1R. The 3.2 inch articulated LCD screen can tilt and flip, which is in my opinion, the best screen implementation out of all the cameras I've ever used. The stabilized 24.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor is capable of 6K 10 bits, cinema 4K 60 frames per second for 2 to 10 bits internally, and anamorphic recording, which is very nice. 
The S1H in my opinion has the best image quality out of all the cameras I've used before. It has a built-in dual native ISO for better low light image quality. Here you have a 3.5mm microphone input port, a headphone jack, and under that you have a USB-C port for charging and extracting files. When the supply charger is connected, you can record and the battery will not run out. It won't overheat either thanks to the built-in fan. Then a full-size HDMI port for sturdier and more reliable connection. With all this, the S1H still manages to be weather sealed. The S1H is Netflix approved so you can produce a film or documentary and upload it to Netflix. The Lumix 24-105mm f4 lens to go along with it. A switch for manual focus and autofocus, an optical image stabilization, switch on and off, and a lens lock. Not sure if this is too useful, but you have it. Pretty nice. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and hook it up to the camera. the camera with the lens on I also picked up pro grade V90 SD cards for fast and secure high quality videos. I also got this screen protector to prevent the screen from getting scratches over time. Now here are three things that I don't like about this camera, not a big deal, but still. The first one is uh, the type of lenses that you have to get for it, this uses Leica mount and at the moment there isn't uh, that many dedicated lenses for this camera yet, but that's not a big deal because you can still use your uh, Sony or Canon lenses. You just need to get an adapter on it. Number two, the S1H is a bit bulky, but I guess if you're buying it, you know what you're doing. You want it for uh, cinema level productions. Also, when you consider the built-in fan and everything it has to offer, I don't think this is a big deal. 
So number three is the autofocus. I know everybody has mentioned this before, but I have to stretch it again. The autofocus isn't great, but there are ways around it, such as using manual focus. So I guess it isn't meant for vlogging. I'm sure that there are more uh, pros and cons to this camera, but I just unpacked it. I need more time to uh, use it and get familiar with it. So if you have any tips and tricks, make sure to drop it in the comment section, share it with others. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful in some ways, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you around.